Hello guys, Nathan with a Blender Quick Tip here. Uh, today we're going to be looking at how to do a little bit of UV unmapping when you've already UV unmapped an image. So basically what I'm talking about is, is not that. So I made this little dragon guy here. Eh, that's what we want. I made this little dragon guy here as a, um, a column topper actually. And I think, there we go. Though I didn't want that showing. That piece can go away. So basically this is for a mind test mod I have. Uh, we got these columns for walls and there's different toppers you can put on it. And in this case I got a dragon, but there's several other options, but none of that really matters because we're looking at the dragon right now. So say we made some edits to this and we needed to re unmap a portion of it. So let's see here. I think I think what I'm going to do is, how about we extrude, because it basically has to be something with extruding on it, because if there's not any extruding, we're really not making any new faces. So here we go. I'm going to just extrude a bump off of him here, and we'll scale that down. And now you notice I put my selection style, or not select, transformation orientation to normals. So I'm pretty much just scaling up on these when I extrude out on the normal of that face. Now in this case, this one did not work very well because it's up should have really been the center. Which is odd how that transfers as it runs down the tail, but I suppose it doesn't matter for the sake of this tutorial video. So we now have these three portions of new faces that you will notice as I select them I'll just share the same UV mapping so the top part of it stayed the same because I just moved that up but the sides are taking all of their UV mapping from pretty much one pixel so you get this effect where the color does not change throughout it stays the same the full length now of course you wouldn't want that to stay the same and I do realize that, yes, for this example, this is a very silly example, but it'll work. So here we have the three different portions on this dragon. Now we've already UV unmapped the whole thing. We've created a texture. We've done an AL bake on it, which is how we got all of our shading here. I don't really want to have to redo everything because this would completely wreck the UV map if I re unwrap the entire thing. But I can just select the faces I want, press U on the keyboard, and hit unwrap. And now I have those four faces of, what am I saying? Those three selections of, they're actually five faces each, unwrapped. Now you'd probably want to put a seam on the edge. And actually, why don't we go ahead and do that here? You would want a seam like this. Mark seam. And we're just going to re-UV unmap this one just to keep this as a quick tip. So there we have it now spread open as it should be. Now, of course, we have the dilemma that our image doesn't really have any open spaces. So there's two things we could do. We could either use an entirely new image for this, which would be as simple as just adding a new image, putting the faces on it, exporting it, and then over in our materials here with our textures we would just add another texture and we would use that UV map right here and this guy would be using its UV map and now if I did this right, and I actually have no idea if I did. If I did this right, whoa. Where is the light in the scene? There isn't one. Let's add one real quick. No, let's see, let's kind of have a point. Pointing along the back side there to give it some light. Wow, that is a really horrible looking piece of mesh. Huh, 
That's weird. Well, it doesn't really matter because, I mean, it, obviously if you're doing something just as a model in Blender, it would matter, but I'm doing this mainly as a favor for somebody on the mind test forms. So for doing it in mind test, you would just define the texture and then you would define a second texture. And that's all there's to it. And it would read those two textures and the export value would read which faces have which textures and it would work that way. Otherwise our second option of course is to use the same texture. By doing that. No, actually by doing if we select this face, control plus should select out. There we go. And we would just change this back to this one. We would basically have to find an empty spot that's not being used. Like that little spot right there. And then we would have to do it for all of the other spots as well because you really don't want these huge overlapping sections. So I'm just going to scale these down and just pop them in inconspicuously here. And I'll do the same thing for this one. Of course, keep in mind that you would never actually do unwrapping as sloppy as this. Because it would be a nightmare for anybody who ever had to do any changes to it. But there we go. Instead of... Oh, yeah, I suppose I shouldn't have those two faces on top of each other. Instead of having to re UV unmap the entire thing, and actually, you know what? I could put it there, but no, I'll put it here. Instead of having to re unwrap the entire thing, we're just unwrapping the portions that actually need to be unwrapped. Which obviously saves us time, because now instead of repainting everything, we're just adding in detail to those three portions. So there you go, quick tip on how to UV unwrap only portions of a mesh without destroying the rest of the mesh you had. Hope you guys learned something.